Qui en sent-tu Normal Je sais pas. Je suis très confortable now. Really? Yeah, do I should drink it? More comfortable? Vous êtes au plus confortable? Oui. Then your old, your old. Que j'en, que j'en, que j'en sien. Oui. Do you like how it feels? Oui, mais j'en sens la belle. So in developing nations, amputees are often ostracized, and, and part of it's because they look different. Part of it's because they don't really have a use anymore. If they can't provide for themselves, they can't provide for their families, you know, they, they become a burden. I think sometimes people just don't want to deal with that. Uh, but then, you know, you have places like Mission of Hope where they do want to deal with it. They, they, they see a problem and they want to fix it. Being a part of a company that is willing to come alongside Mission of Hope is a really cool thing for me. What Mission of Hope has set up here is awesome. Any patient that comes in here gets a prosthesis for free. So what they have here is good, but it has potential to be so much better. And to be a part of making it better is, is just a really cool thing. It's like a hammock. Little <laughs> Kuyo Amak, Kapkebe. Very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, I want to learn. <laughs> I want to learn of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh, good team. Good yeah. team. So, instead of having a check socket, Même là que vous faites un test socket, we are fitting with this adjustable. Ou de tout, je vous mets ça avec un adjustable bois. So pretty much the running theme here, as far as residual limbs has has gone, is you know the the skin integrity is not very good. Uh, sometimes there's open wounds. Thankfully, not always. There's always some sort of of pain, and part of it is is hygiene. Part of it is accessibility to to things like new socks and liners. A lot of them are just just super skinny, skin and bone, and, and their socket were like bowls around them. They have to wear five or six or seven or eight socks um, just to get their, their socket to stay on their limb. And, you know, and then they've got a suspension sleeve over that. It's just like, man, the heat involved in that has got to be astronomical. One of our patients, Kabi, he um, came in, he was a below knee amputee, and his socket was like three sizes too big. Um, he wore like seven pairs of socks and his, his limb was sweaty. Um, he couldn't keep it on. We couldn't find good suspension with a socket that big. So instead of it being hard, mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to put more weight into it without hurting so much and it's, you can pull it and make it tighter, just like a shoe. Okay. Yeah. So it shouldn't fall off of you or anything. I like that. I think more than more than anything, here in Haiti, you know, they, they want to be able to provide for themselves and their families. But I think also they, they just want to fit in, you know. They they just want somebody to not stare at their leg when when they're not wearing it, you know. They just want to be a part of the community. They don't want to be left out or singled out. So there's there's a great focus in that, but I think often what gets left behind is comfort. You make do with what you have, which is is great and is necessary, but there's almost this mentality of this is as good as it gets, this is as good as it's gonna get, so I'll just deal with it. It just kind of showed me that the way that prosthetics are done in countries like this is just trying to help and see as many people as you can and, and get whatever you can out the door with an amputee, but that doesn't mean that there's comfort there. Where are you feeling pain? When she walks, she feels pain. 
She hurts. She feels hurts. Her in, yes. in the groin? Yeah. Okay. Is it, do you think it's causing you to have a hard time walking? It, it's like in both seats. If you can do it, keep going mm -hmm. back. Keep going back. Yeah. And if we could relieve the pain, you would walk more? Si vous sentez, si vous sentez le douleur, marchez plus bien? Oui. Okay. We're going to help you. Vous allez nous donner? Okay. Let's get stick your leg off. Et tirez pied à balai. Chita là. Martin Bionics has this technology now, like with the swing brim, where it's super easy to, to put one of those into a traditional socket even. The level of comfort for people just skyrockets because they go from sitting on this, this hard issue seat into something that fits them like a rock climbing harness. And you, you don't lose any stability uh, and it's, it's just way more comfortable. And I, and I think that that's huge. Is it easier for her to walk? Is it easier for her to walk? No. It's comfortable to walk. Yeah, you make a good job. Hey, please, guys. Yeah. Yay! Does it feel better sitting down now that you have... Is it feel better? Is it feel better? Yeah. No pain. She just said no. She said no pain. You got this? You know what I just so then to be able to bring in something like the socketless socket, it's it's just totally it's it's just a completely different world because the design is is open, so it's breathable. You know, it's I expect better skin integrity from it because there will be less sweating even. Can I just get a couple of steps? This way? Oh my gosh. Uh, Your knee's not buckling. Do you see how that changed it? Do you feel like with this leg, you'll be able to walk more to get a little bit more strong? Yeah. Yes? If you walk more, your knee will get stronger. Yeah. So we're hoping because it's more comfortable and stable, you'll be able to walk more. No, no, I, I want to learn something of you about this. Okay. Yes. Hey, Kavi, yeah. you want to, to sit down? I'm going to show no, no. And even that adjustable design, for them to know that if, if they build muscle or they lose weight or, you know, from, from morning to night, they, uh, they sweat while they work and, and their limb shrinks or, you know, or whatever, that they can adjust that and then they don't have to be in pain by the end of the day is just, I think, revolutionary. We give them something more than just something that looks like a leg, but something that works like a leg. Um, something that helps them to, to like play with their kids and to, if, you're, if they are a kid, be a kid. Kavi, you're walking so good. Mate bien. Kavi, how do you feel? You feel good? Good? Yeah. Um, I work on yeah. water with the other it's way hot. This you pay so much air they come in and the water will give them like some skin infection. It's cool working for a company um, that not only has a heart to to push boundaries and, and advance technology in the states and, and make things comfortable for people and to constantly be changing things for the better of their patients, but the fact that Martin Bionics wants to take this overseas and to wherever they can take it and just push it as far as they can, um, that makes me feel even better about where I work. Yeah, he said two things inside, sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a really beautiful thing to get to come alongside other like minded people that see a problem and want to fix it and feel called to fix it. What we do here, take the same model to other places and do it there and just from one place to the next, to the next, to the next, and just just spread it all over the world and spread that hope and, and that freedom and that independence. Did we fall? Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs> 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 Yay!